Hello, YouTube. Um, I'm here with, um, it's, this is taking, like, it's going to be named something different, but it's going to take place in the form of an update video. So if you see the updates, updates go from updates number five to updates number seven. Then that means this will be updates number six, just I'm going to call it differently. So, here we go. This is just a shout out or preview or whatever you like to call it for a new military stop motion that's coming up. Um, it'll be, yeah. I don't know what to name it yet. I don't want to name it Lego Black Hawk Down because Ski Walker already has and a series called by that name and I don't want to be called um, a copier so I'll name it something in the end um so yeah um so first I'll get started with all the terrorists like the first section part of it it's gonna be like two guys camping out just they're assigned to like guard this one section of the town to make sure you no know, terrorists get past it, but terrorists do come and like they attack them, so it's basically they have to um they have to um attack back basically. Um so I'll begin by showing you the terrorists that are going to to be in this video. Here's the first guy. Uh, come on, focus, um, well, yeah, here he is, um, he's got an MP5K, right there, oh, come on, camera there, two of them have MP5Ks, one has an RPG and the other has a sniper, he has sort of a, he has a jacket with, um, a hood on the back, then he has like a Wilderman helmet, And then he has dark blue pants, so that's him. Then we also then we have this guy. Um, there we go. So he has um a Lego City Robber's body, then I just put a ninja mask on him. See, there's his face. Um, yeah, he has a bit of back printing. There, um, and then he, he has the other MP5, okay? Alright, so that's him. Oops. Then we have the sniper. Um, he has a face mask, um, a white face mask. Um, blonde hair. Then he has um, he has the new Nabu pilot's body. With brown and gray legs, and he has the 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 I think it's called the PTRS 41 or something. Um, I don't know what PTRS stands for, but yeah. Okay, so then finally we have this guy. Um. Um, yeah, he has black hair, he has head very similar to that of the face mask guys. Um, he has a builderman's body, then he has dark tan legs. No back printing, or no back printing, yeah. Um, and here's his RPG. 
Um, the RPG is custom made by me. Hey, that rhymes. Just kidding. Yeah, it does, but, oh yeah. Um, the rocket is detachable. As you can see, it, um, it fits into there. Like that. Okay, so, there, um, I'm um, putting it back in. Okay, there we go. Now, there are the four terrorists you're gonna see in my new video. Okay, so now moving on to military vehicles. Um, um, so, oh, well, I'll do the guys first. Um, so, here's this one guy. He's the driver of the Humvee you see in the background. Um, that's what he looks like. He has silver glasses, um, a brown hollow with goggles. Let's just say they're night vision goggles. And then, or maybe since he's also a sniper, they could be like aiming goggles or something. Then he has legs with holster. Um, now the next guy, he's, he's like completely made by me. So is the other guy, but yeah. Um, he has the same body as the other guy. Um, he, and then, oh, come on. Focus. Focus, focus, focus. There, um, he has black glasses with, it's sort of hard to see with that, it looks, yeah. You can see he has a silver headset right there. So that was kind of cool. Um, then he has Lady City cap. Um, Yeah, um, so, then his boots, they're custom sharpied by me, and just regular tan legs, um, then he, uh, then this guy has a pack on his back, um, now the rhyme, I'm in a po, I'm in a, I'm in a mood for poetry today, oh <laughs> yeah, um, now, here is, um, the Humvee. So I'll show you the outside first, and I'll show you the features that it has. Um, here's the front. Here's sort of like the car grill and stuff. And then two rear view mirrors on each side. Um, the wheels are kind of small, but I didn't have any bigger ones. Like, well, I did have bigger ones, but they were too big for the Humvee. So I decided I just would use those. Um, then, um, this is back. It has the red lights right there and stuff. Alright, that's good. Um, now onto the features. I'll show you the trunk first. Um, yeah, um, the trunk, it can fit any brick arms weapon. I'm pretty sure it can. Um, like, well, some of the guns, like, PTRS-41, um, they have to fit in diagonally in order for them to fit. And, yeah. What I really like about the Humvee is that it fits really snugly into, um, the thing. So, yeah, um. Now, I'll show you the rotating turret at the top. Um, 
with um it can rotate about 270 degrees um uh, then the gun at the top can go up and it can kind of go down um what i use i use the m1 or the m1919 browning i know i should make a custom weapon but i haven't found one that can I haven't found something that can fit on top of here yet, so I just use Brownie. And now on to the cockpit. The cockpit it can be accessed two ways. You can um I'll have to use both hands for this um you can pull out these panels right here to access the cockpit or not the cockpit, the cab. Um or you can take off the roof of the cabin. Or cab. I really like to call it. Um. Yeah. And. Um. Here's where the guy stands to operate the machine gun at the top. As you can see, he's kind of like in the cab itself. Um. Yeah. Um. If he was lowered, then that would mean like he wasn't eye he wouldn't be eye level with the gun itself. So now the driver it can fit one whole minifigure in it. Um so which yeah, a normal V has two rows of seats. Um both rows can fit two people. Uh, come on, focus. There we go. Um, but this one can only fit one person in the front row. So, this isn't necessarily minifigure scale, but it certainly is really cool and it works. Um, and of course, like, I'd say like maybe like 80 or 85 percent of the design goes to Tat Taddy Daddy. Um, he's made two versions of his Humvees. Um, come on, focus. Oh well, I'll just have to show you up close. Um. There we go. So, yeah, check out his channel, um, please. Um, so, yeah, and back there, that's their camp, basically. I think I had some more buildings where the terrorists ambushed them, but, yeah, so, that's all for today, and look forward to my upcoming brick film. See ya.